Well, good morning. Thank you for joining me today. Bushcraft Dave, out on a big walk. Although, technically speaking today, I'm not actually out on a big walk. Today, I'm technically out on a short walk. Um, it is still gonna take me about two hours. And it's still in the beautiful surroundings of the Peak District. Um, what I realized is over the winter months with the dark mornings and it getting dark earlier, I was struggling to fit in the Peak District big walks. And so I spotted this book on that there internet. I saw this book, which was just gonna, gonna tide me over with a couple of walks until the sun starts getting a bit better. It is the Collins Rambler's Guide, <laughs> but it's short walks in the Peak District. All of these walks are supposed to be um, certainly less than five miles. I think the idea is that they're probably all around about two hours. Um, and so today, you find me out. This isn't necessarily going to become a series. This is just um, just something fun to do because actually the, within this book there are parts of the Peak District that I've yet to explore. I headed out today to start at Pools Cavern Car Park, uh, which I feel like I've been to once before, but I think that was with the family at some point. And I'm taking on walk number nine out of this book, which is Solomon's Temple. Now, I've looked at the pictures, it looks pretty cool, and I'm excited. In about an hour's time, I should be up at Solomon's Temple, and you can see what it is, and we'll have a bit of a talk about it. But it's a nice short walk, this is gonna take me two hours. In this book, there's no degrees of difficulty or anything like that. They are all meant to be relatively easy walks. Um, I'll certainly tell you if that's true as we get to the end of it. But thank you so much for joining me so far and please sit back, relax and enjoy um, the rest of this fantastic walk on a beautifully crisp, it is cold, but as I was driving here there was a, a red moon in the sky and I've set off very, very early this morning and um, I'm hoping that we're gonna get some beautiful weather. So enjoy and we'll speak to you in a bit.
Solomon's Temple. This Victorian folly built in 1895 for a local farmer and landowner, Solomon Mycock, by the unemployed of the area. It was a type of Victorian job creation scheme. It sits on top of a prehistoric mound and at 1,300 feet, or 396 metres, it makes an excellent vantage point above Buxton and the surrounding moors. Mam Tor can be seen on a clear day. I don't think it'll be seen today, it's very foggy, very misty, but absolutely beautiful. Well worth a trip. I came the long way around, I think there's a short route up to Solomon's Temple, the other way round of the loop. Obviously I'm, I'm, I've only really got probably a mile left to go now to the car park, so you could come the short way straight up to Solomon's Temple, but very beautiful. Well, as I approach just the last short section, I'm about 10 minutes away from the car now, just thought I'd stop and say a big thank you for joining me today on this short walk. An unusual turn of events. Um, I am going to get out and finish those big walks in the Peak District at some point when time and space allows me to do so. But for now, a really enjoyable short walk um, to go and visit Solomon's Temple. Oh, look at this fella. What's this say? The Lime Burners of Grinlow. The teacher in me tells you to pause that and read it in your own time. But look at this fella. Hey up, buddy. Um, anyway, where was I? Oh yes, thank you for joining me on today's walk. Um, next week I'm going to head out for another short walk out of this book. Um, I'm going to go and visit Padley Gorge. I don't think it's a part that's appeared on any of my other walks, so that's kind of what I'm looking at with this. There are some walks in here that are, there are some walks that are identical um, to some of the shortest walks in the other book, the Peak District, the Rambler's Guide to the Peak District, the full, full one. Um, so I'm trying to sort of hit a few areas that I've not been to so I've never visited Solomon's Temple well worth a visit and I'm going to go and visit Padley Gorge next week so um, thank you so much have a lovely weekend everybody and we'll see you in the next one